So, um, so you have an, an, a very interesting way of making a living. Um, what is something that the average Joe, Joe or Jane doesn't realize or think about when it comes to voiceover acting? Um, that it's an acting job. That yeah. it's, it's not just, I have a cool voice, I bet I could do that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an acting job. Like It takes a lot of acting training. But in addition, there's the specifics of the voiceover world. Yeah. How to work a mic, how to fill a pause, how to spell when you trip, when you fall, when you're launched from a cannon, when you kiss, when you raspberry, when you boat, when you elephant, when you goose. These I don't know what you're talking about right now. These are all words I don't even under recognize. Right? right? See? Because it's all voiceover stuff. I'm the average stuff. Joe here. So yep. here's, here's your boat. Here's your raspberry. Here's your um, elephant. So if you're in a room with three other voiceovers, you're like, give me an elephant, and everybody's doing the same mm -hmm. thing. They know what that Pretty is. Pretty much, yeah. Interesting. Give me a goose. That's a goose. A goose. Yeah. Huh. Um, like you said, on a pin. Yeah. Or... Um, there's just so many of them huh. uh, like like say you're shot out of a cannon okay so jason uh your character is uh shot out of a cannon and you do three flips and you land on your face boom that's my sound is it was, was that wrong for <laughs> me it's not wrong for if i asked you to uh, make the sound of touching your drum <laughs> okay yeah. so this is what i'd do if they said you're launched from a cannon you do three flips and you fall on your face I would be. Wow, that's that's talent. Isn't that though? I swear, I amaze myself <laughs> every day. No, it's just that people don't realize that voice acting uh, requires immediate change. It's like in in video games. When I book a video game and you go in, you don't see the whole story or the script. There's you know six hundred actors eventually in the game mm -hmm. there's stacks of uh if it were printed out it's a huge story and you get to see just your lines yeah and the director says okay um your dog just died and these are your lines okay now you're in an amusement park and you're running and running okay now you're getting shot in the belly and now you give me three punches and those are all certain things you know how to do yeah like if you're slugged in the stomach and the script says u-m-p-h Hmm. What would you do? Uh, I'd probably say you need a different voiceover actor. <laughs> <laughs> it goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> right? Or if you trip, yeah. it's like... <laughs> <laughs> so all these little things add up and you pepper your scripts with them and uh, it moves quick. You it's know, when your director is telling you what to do and you're like, oh, I can do that. So I teach it also because... Um, there's just, it moves so quickly now and it didn't always move that quick. Well, you're building an argument, right? Because obviously Zach was pursuing the whole acting thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, and his challenge is like memorizing lines and mm -hmm. going into, you know, auditions and trying to deliver it in person, right? And you think like, oh, voiceover is so much easier. Well, you don't have to memorize lines. You don't have to memorize lines. That's good. But there's a lot of other challenges, yes. right? Because yes. you don't have the chemistry. You don't, right? Yeah, well, yeah. you also have to be a super good reader. Sure. Which um, you'd be surprised how many people cannot read by no fault of their own. They just, we don't practice it that much. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a lot of dyslexics, you know, and you learn to live with it. But it doesn't make it easier in voiceover. And then there's singers, people who can sing, usually do a little better at voiceover because sure. you can hear the melody. Mm -hmm. And there's some people who are not singers. It doesn't mean you can't do voiceover, but it's a little harder, harder than if you were a singer. Mm -hmm. So being on camera and uh, hating to memorize lines and transitioning t into VO in voiceover is totally possible, but there's a lot to learn. Yeah. I coach a lot of on-camera on actors. Yeah.